I'm too young to die. This is our life now. This is our life now, okay? We're gonna go on. It's gonna be fun. No, I can't go on, Marcus. I can't do this. I'm gonna die. Why did you shake my hand? Why did you go? I gotta run. I can't go to jail. I can't go to jail, Marcus. Shut up. Come down. Come down. Oh, God. They're coming. They're coming. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, no. No. Hey, there you go. There you go. There you go. Ted? Oh, hey, Marcus. How are you? Good. We out for a little run? Hey, yeah, yeah. Just did seven. I might do another seven, you know? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't want to hold you up. Hey, let's grab dinner sometime. I would love that. All right. You mean Good Karen. seeing you. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean... Nine one one. what's your emergency? Hi, yeah. I got a couple handshakers right in front of me. Okay, sir. Are, are they still in the vicinity? Yeah. I'm staring at them right now. Yes, seriously. Run. Uh, you know, stay home, uh, stay apart from one another, but it is what is going to get those numbers down to basically zero so that we can really look at reopening the city without risk of a further wave coming uh, that just causes us to be closed down again. The City of Toronto has taken enforcement of social distancing measures one step further, but is it a step too far? The City has introduced a snitch line where you can go onto their website or you can call in and complain about someone who is not following the various measures, a business that has remained open. Someone who is in a city park, a gathering of more than five individuals, or a returning traveler who is not isolating. They encourage you to fill in a form, give all the information, describe what you saw so bylaw enforcement officers can show up and bring down the law on all of them. Is this appropriate to be doing? Yes, Canadians are all in this together. Polls show that we support these various measures, but is this getting petty, particularly at a time when we are starting to talk about the reopening of society. This would be one thing if it was introduced at the beginning of all of this. When we didn't know how bad this would be, we were worried that our hospital ICUs would be overrun. That's proven to not be the case, thankfully, probably because these measures in part are, are playing their part, they're doing their thing. But introducing this now, when we're already chomping at the bit to reopen in cautious steps, doesn't make too much sense. It also doesn't help that politicians themselves don't seem to be following these rules too well. Toronto Mayor John Tory was caught on camera attending a parade to honor healthcare workers. In front of the University of Health Network corridor, there's several hospitals along one long street in Toronto. While police officers, they lined up with all of their vehicles and their horses, their lights were blaring. People took to the sidewalk to applaud and celebrate healthcare workers. Yes, they deserve our applause. And Oh boy, you better believe that Canadians are saying we stand with our healthcare workers. But there was the mayor standing with residents, looked like it wasn't two meters apart. If it was, it was, you know, just by a centimeter on the sidewalk, encouraging people to gather in this group. Is this really a responsible thing to do? Is this the case of the rules are for the little people? And by the way, the snitch line, a good way to rat out the little people as well. A step too far, if you ask me.